Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Welcome to this session of Scoop School. We're broadcasting from St. Louis, Missouri, uh, the headquarters of Scoop School and the Inside Ice Cream uh, group of companies. Do want to thank our episode sponsor, Lloyd's of Pennsylvania. That's L-L-O-Y-D-S, Lloyd's. Lloyd's of Pennsylvania. The link's down below. Great mix company. Barry the dad is a food scientist. He can help you with formulation. Andy the son, sales guy, knows a lot about mix. Two of them together, like Shazam. Andy and Barry. Andy, Barry. Shing. Anyway, the link's down below. <laughs> Don't tell them I did this Shazam thing. They'll just get all embarrassed. Anyway, uh, thank you for your episode sponsorship. Viewer question shrouded in controversy. Question is from Baxter McTavish who I don't think is his real name because, correct me if I'm wrong, Baxter McTavish is gung, 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 the Canadian Bear Force. Yes, we had a comment from a Canadian Bear Force a couple of months ago. Same icon, different name. Baxter, are you trying to milk the system by getting more questions answered than their average viewer? That's the question I put to you. Anyway, we're going to answer it nonetheless. Baxter McTavish asks, and where are we going to throw this one up? Which, uh, which side would you like, Madeline, to throw this one up on? Shing! <laughs> Baxter McTavish asks, I want to sell ice cream at a farmer's market next year to test the market for low cost. Anyone have experience with this? Just need a few coolers? Question mark. Baxter McTavish or whoever you are, it's a great question because I love people that are taking their product out to the market to do what you would call, let's say, a proof of concept. So basically what we're doing is we're saying, okay, I've got something here that I think is pretty good. I'm getting some good feedback from family, friends. The next level is to take it out uh, and have someone other than my circle of influence taste the product. The, the short answer is no, you just can't use a couple of coolers. A, because generally a cooler with ice in it does not hold the product cold enough. A cooler with dry ice will actually hold it too cold. So first port of call, even before you start investing in coolers and machines and different things, talk to the local health department. They are going to set a boundary or a guidelines of what you can do to take your product to market. For the most part, you will find, particularly with new legislation, that they want some form of constant refrigeration. Now that's only some counties, but more and more counties are are wanting constant refrigeration. For example, we do a farmer's market just up the road here, uh, not with ice cream, but with a pancake type products, mini Dutch pancakes. And we take along a mix, uh, a pancake mix, Dutch pancake mix in a squeeze bottle, and uh, it needs to be refrigerated. Even our local health department says you can't just use a cooler, you must have a small refrigerator there. So the first question is, uh, what will the health department allow me to use? Coolers may be out of the question because of its temperature but also it doesn't offer constant refrigeration. So secondly you're going to have to have uh, some form of mechanism to sell this whether it be scoops or whether it be cups with lids on them pre-packaged. I will tell you right now that pre-packaged ice cream is a lot easier to sell from a health department standpoint uh, and just from a speed of service standpoint at the markets. You'll find that most farmers markets are there between say seven o'clock in the morning and one o'clock in the afternoon. So um, you may get people coming nice and early that are buying some groceries, some dairy products, some uh, corn chips, uh, a dog painting, uh, a jewelry case made of birch wood, and they may walk past your stall with every intention to purchase something but not to eat right there on premises. So having some form of dipping cabinet or freezer where you'll have perhaps pints or half pints of products is a really good way to go. Now, that being said, you want people to be able to sample it. So maybe you've got a small dipping ca cabinet or even a countertop small freezer that you're giving samples out of per spoon uh, and then selling the pints. I really do think that's the best way to go. It, yes, it is one thing to be able to say that you've got uh, product to take home, but people love to be able to taste it fresh. I, I would recommend talking to the health department first uh, and finding what your refrigeration options need to be. Packing 
drinking uh, some half pints and pints. Uh, a good thing about a half pint is it kind of is a, a serving in and of itself. So you can kind of pop that cap off a half pint and eat it on site if you would like, but it's a nice seal container that they can also take home and put it in the freezer and then see how that goes. I, I do think that before you go into that large bridge of brick and mortar or an expensive food truck, that a farmer's market is a great way to just kind of ease yourself in to be able to get that customer feedback, proof of concept, uh, but you do need to adhere by your local health department standards and that could be different from county to county to county. So good luck Baxter McTavish or whoever you are. Let us know the results and if you are currently doing ice cream at a farmer's market that's not in a food truck, but perhaps in a tent or a canopy or something like that, let us know. We'd love to hear from you and keep the questions coming. Love the questions. Uh, we base as many of these videos we can off viewer requests and, and comments down below. So keep us in the loop on that. Thank you to our episode sponsor, Lloyd's of Pennsylvania. Keep on scooping. We'll see you in the next video.